What's going on everybody and welcome back to Airport CEO where it is now winter time. Well, it's getting close to winter time. It's actually fall, I believe. But yes, there has been some time that has elapsed in between episodes here and there's been a few tweaks that I've done just because I we've been kind of waiting to get the budget you know, back up to a point where we can work on what we are going to work on this episode, and that is the baggage handling system. So the first change that you may notice is this holding point is now down here. I had noticed that planes, when they got off the runway, sometimes have to stop, and usually they're coming off at this exit point of the of the ramp, I guess. That's not a ramp, but of the tarmac, and they were stopping on the runway. So having this cheated down a little bit makes them stop off the runway, which I feel is more realistic. You'll also notice that our planes are actually using these new attached uh, points of entry onto the runway. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, and then I guess the only other change beside, well, there's a couple more changes. I did a little bit of decorating around here and uh, we just, I tried to vary this staff room up a little bit just to make it a little bit more interesting to the eye. And then the staff room, when we first put it down in the last episode, was one giant room. And since we built these other rooms, I actually went through and changed them into, what is that, five individual rooms? So, yes. And then, of course, through here we only have uh, one executive per office down here. So, yes, this is still, everybody can come into this staff room. Uh, maybe eventually we'll think about putting another staff room down here for the uh, employees that don't have to go through security, just to maybe streamline that a little bit more, but right now it's really not that important. And then I think the final change in between episodes was this. Now, we had the security checkpoints over on this wall in the last episode, and I've changed these to be vertical, and this is going to help a lot with the flow of traffic, or passenger traffic. And I also put a nice little bathroom situation up here, and these are out of the secure zone. So now we have bathrooms in the secure zone and out of the secure zone, so that's going to be nice. This also opens up this space to be like a shop or a store, so yeah, that's just going to, you know, <laughs> maximize the usefulness of that space. Alright, that's that, and before we go ahead and start doing the baggage handling system. I'm thinking we might want to get a janitor, just one, to come in here and clean this up because it's pretty disgusting over here. So let's go figure out if we can hire a janitor, and I know we can, but which one do we want? <laughs> oh man, we can pay a person $5 an hour to be a janitor. You know what? Sure, they can't handle stress though. You know what? This person can kind of handle stress. Let's hire this person. So, yeah, we have one person as a janitor now, and we also are going to want to get a security person. Alessandro Ferrari. That's a slick name. I like it. Uh, you're going to go work here. So this is going to be open for business, and we are, well, no, this is actually, we're going to deactivate these. And, yes, our employees will then be able to go through this stand because we'll have a person working it. In between episodes, I went and I researched the bag handling system, which is baggage handling service. And we, I also started research on the tilt tray, and we have researched the generic bag scanner. So there are still a couple more stations that we can research. We just don't really have the money for that right now, so we are not going to research that until we start, you know, making some more money. But we do have all of the conveyor belts and stuff, so this is going to be awesome. Now, I believe this has to be zoned as a secure zone, there we go, and we're going to need to run the bags from the check-in desks over to that area. So that's going to be our storage area. So we're going to go ahead and put a baggage belt, and we'll start over here. We'll put a baggage belt right here across like this. Boom. And <laughs> these are kind of freaking out right now, but that's fine. They'll, they'll kind of sort themselves out, I believe. Although, you know what? We can... Maybe put that one there just to make this look better. Or you know what? No, we won't put that one there. But we will put an underground one in there. So it's going to look pretty cool. So there we go. And then, yeah, it looks like the belt's starting over there and coming over this way. So the belts are then going to go underground just out like that. And we're going to turn this using the R key to bring this up like this. And then this is where we're going to do all of our sorting. But we have to bring the other side over there as well. And for this side, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to go across like this 
And then we're gonna go underground over here and then over here and bring that out a little bit and then rotate this around and bring it up to about there. Now all of our construction workers realize they have some work to do so they're gonna go start doing that. Uh, we're gonna bring this belt this way now and these two have to merge up. Now eventually, uh, maybe if we need to, we can split these into two like separate sorting. I don't even know what to call this, chains? But uh, right now, I think we're just going to stick with the one. But we are going to need to get a bag scanner, which we will put right about... You know what? Let's, let's put it this way, just because I want to leave some room for expansion later on. So here we go. We'll put this like this, and you can see the inputs and the outputs of this. And then the bad bags, if they get rejected, are then going to go up, and they're going to go this way. So we will just do something like that. And we need a bag destroyer, so we'll put that in right about there. And then we're going to have to bring these belts up under, or overground rather. So we'll do something like that, and then I think that should be pretty good. So these bags will then come in this way, and just hop right on this line, and then go through the baggage scanner and all that kind of stuff. And then these just kind of have a direct route in. So the bags that are, you know, rejected will then get destroyed. And honestly, I I don't know if that's a thing that really happens in the airports, you know? I, do they have a big, like, cargo destroying machine? That could be pretty cool to figure out, I don't know. But, uh, all right. We're going to need to build the baggage bays. And I'm thinking we're going to do that up here. But we're going to tweak this just a little bit. So we want to put the baggage bays inside. And this game's really cool because you can actually use the large doors and drive vehicles through it. So that's pretty awesome. But to do so, we're going to need to build a foundation up here. And I'm thinking... Um, so these are small bays here. And I'm thinking we'll do small bays on this side as well. And so the door for that is actually going to go in right uh, here. So let's just put those in right now. And then... We're, we're not going to need any more space beyond that door, really. So, up past this is pretty much all free reign to use. So, that's good. Let's go ahead and grab a baggage bay and see what this is all about. So, these are pretty large. So, we have a lot of room between this tarmac area and the wall that we've just built down here. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to bring that foundation up to about there. So, let's go ahead and do that right now. And we'll go like that. That should be good. And there we go. So we're going to have to delete this wall in here, which is fine. And that is it. This is going to be our baggage bay area. So this is where the service trucks are going to come up here and go ahead and grab the bags and take them back to the plane and then bring bags off of the plane and put them back onto the baggage area. So, yes, how is our money looking? It's pretty good. It's not... Yeah, I thought, I, I don't know. I don't know how much this is going to cost us. So I did want to build up that budget just a little bit before we went ahead with this episode. So while we're doing this and while we're waiting for the foundation to be laid up here, I'm thinking we want to go into procurement and grab the avgas. Or not the avgas. We're going to want to research the, what is the other one? Jet fuel A1. So this is going to be the big jet liner's uh, fuel so we need to put a depot for that and I'm thinking we put this up here just to keep it all kind of Close to the planes now. We have this one down here And this is gonna be splitting between the general aviation and this small stand up here, which is fine We may want to consider buying another fuel truck when we start to get a lot of flights in here, but it's so far has seemed to be uh, Doing its job fairly nicely and efficiently for us So we're not too worried about that and it is really Nice to see all of these planes landing here and, you know, all overnight we essentially fill up our capacity, which is really awesome. All right, we may want to put a door on this, and I'm thinking that's probably a good idea. So we'll go ahead and do that just because I'm not sure. I don't think staff needs to get in here, but we'll put a door here and... That's going to bug me, so we'll just put a wall right there. But, uh, yeah, I'm thinking just in case staff needs to get in here, we'll put the door in like that. And then we'll start to run the uh, baggage belts up this way. So I'm thinking we could fit one, two, about three of these in here. So that's good. Um, let's go ahead and wait for this to be built. And then I think we need to zone that as secure for this to work. So let's do that. 
And we're going to need to run the service road up to here. And, of course, we're going to need to put a road into this building. So these baggage bays are actually on that 4x4 grid, which is kind of tedious. And, like, it, it, you need to really pay attention where you're putting it down. So we're going to put this down there. And then the road's going to be about here. So, you know what? We could put the road all the way at the top of this. Like, right about there. So, yes, that's going to be good. And then back like that. That should leave enough room for the baggage bay to be linked in like that. So, yes, that is awesome. And then we're going to have to go ahead and buy a couple large doors here. And did I put that in the wrong place? Yes, I did. Uh, it's really hard to see this blue on blue right now. But there we go. And then we will continue our service road out like this and like that. And then up like that. And... It looks like you need a vehicle, like, bay or connection up here. Although, I don't think that's the case. Because I've never seen a vehicle actually drive to this. And in my other save, I actually have a road connecting to the ATC tower. But I've never seen anybody need to get there. But there are parking spaces there, which is curious. But let's go ahead and check out the fuel depot. Yeah, if we really wanted to connect that up, we could. Which is, I guess, not a terrible idea. Although, I was thinking of maybe putting it right there. You know what? I like that. So, we will get that once we research the Jet Fuel A1. Alright, it looks like we can finally put in a baggage bay, so let's go ahead and do that right now and get that ordered in. Now, I'm thinking we want to go ahead and put a door in here, even though this is going to be a staff-only area. So, actually, before I forget, let's go ahead and zone that as staff-only. There we go. And then we're going to put a door in there just so we can have staff access it fairly easily from the secure zone in the terminal. So no one has to actually walk outside for that, which is really nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring these uh, little baggage belts all the way up to that area. Now this may cost a bunch of money, I'm not really sure, but let's go ahead and loop this around. And I wanna leave a little bit of space because we do want the you know room for expansion later when we unlock the rest of the security items. So let's do that, and then this will just go up like that, and this one will come in like that. So, yeah, it's a little inefficient, but it's what we need to do for now. Let's go ahead and get the underground belt started, and we want to bring this up just to where it needs to be. So I think... Oh, boy, we need to get this built before we figure it out, or we can just check this. So, yes, it comes in right there. So let's try to remember that. It's the fifth one over from the door. Okay, that's an easy way to do it. So let's go back to our underground belt, and it's the fifth one over from the door. Boom. Right? Yes. And then I believe we can drag these backwards like this. Uh, when this game first launched, like the first day, you couldn't drag a belt. Like, when you dragged a belt out, the belt direction went the way you dragged, which was okay, but it did have some issues at times. Like, doing that would have been impossible, but... Uh, whatever. All right, we need to then bring the bags back down, and this is all going to be directly underneath the terminal, but that's fine because we'll never have to get down there to do anything. Now, this is going to be our baggage claim area, so we are going to need to get a couple of the little baggage carousels, if you want to call them that, down here. So let's go ahead and figure out what we want to do with that. We want to leave a little bit of walking space for people over here, and then in the middle, I'm thinking we want to put a few of these. Now, maybe just two big ones at this point. Uh, that could be really cool. And then we could separate those out later on when we get this side done. And then eventually, we'll expand this all out and fit the rest of the airport in like that. So that's going to be pretty cool. But let's go ahead and just bring these in. Let's build the above ground portion first. And let's go with the counterclockwise, I, I guess. And then this will go down like this and how big do we want these to be just like massive sure why not let's go all the way down to there and then we'll bring it around like this and you know what we'll just match these walls just to keep it kind of consistent here so like that and then out like this so this is pretty cool i like this i like this a lot and honestly if we wanted to ooh, this is gonna be cool so we can do something like that and then bring these in like this and then it just gives you a little bit more surface area, if that's the right word for that, to then have bags come around here. So this is 500 out, and this 500 out. So yes, just like that. So yes, there is more belt because it's snaked around. And so the bags will then, you know, be on the belt longer and have more of a chance of somebody picking them up. So 
this is pretty cool. I like how this is coming out. There we go. And then we need to connect the underground back up to this. So let's go ahead and get the underground belt. And I'm thinking we could just straight come out like this right onto there. That's going to be awesome. All right. Unfortunately, we had to delete the inside of this because when I went to put an underground belt through this to go, you know, back up to the top, uh, it went through this belt, but it, it came onto this belt anyway. So there was really no point for that to be like that. So instead, we're just going to plop this in, you know, somewhere like this and like this. And then we will deal with it from there. So let's go ahead and figure this all out. Now, the thing that I've noticed when you're laying belts down is you kind of want to leave like a one space in between all of them. Otherwise, you'll get some weird stuff where they're trying to link each other up. And that's just, you know, it's not cool and it's very frustrating. And if you've just laid down a massive line of, like, baggage stuff, it's very, very annoying. We won't even connect this one up right now. We'll just be using this side. So that's going to connect up to this one. So let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, the tilt tray, if you're wondering, allows you to sort the bags to where they need to be sorted to. And now that I'm just looking at this, I'm realizing that this security area is going to have a really hard time connecting up to another baggage bay over here. So we're gonna have to go like underneath it and do a bunch of weird stuff, but that's really not that, that's not a problem that we're gonna have to deal with right now. So whatever, but uh, yeah, eventually when we expand the airport out, it's gonna be a bit of a headache, but I'm not all that worried about it right now. But all right, so this is there. And like I was saying, uh, the tilt tray actually allows you to sort. So if we had like two baggage bays over here, we could put a tilt tray down here and have the two lines that they need to go to, and it will automatically sort which bag needs to go on which conveyor belt to get to their proper destination. So, yes, you can build a lot of really, really intricate and really complicated baggage systems in this game. And, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool when we get that done. By now, we should have uh, access to the new fuel depot. So let's go ahead and check. Yes, we have Jet Fuel 1A ready to go. So let's go ahead and put that in here. And we're not going to sign a contract just yet because we still have to link all this stuff up. And you know what? I'm thinking we're going to do that in the next episode. So, guys, if you like this one, give me a thumbs up. If you disliked it, a thumbs down, of course. We are getting so close to getting passenger flights in, and I think we'll get that within the next two episodes. So the next episode, we'll go through and set up the rest of what we need in the terminal to get those flights going. And then in the following episode, we'll go ahead and get our first commercial flight. So, yes, I am excited. But until then, guys, I will see you back here in Airport CEO.